Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Do The Work. Here we're going to cover question 13 of the Math Proficiency Test for Teachers in Ontario. We're asked if after a discount the sale price of an item is 65% of its original price, which of these fractions represent the discount? Before we get going with the question, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button below that way you can support the channel but also get notifications for every upcoming video and make sure you don't miss another one. As of now, it's probably the best way to support me. Now, as always, the first step to solving any problem in mathematics is to understand what the problem is asking. So for example, let's say we have a, a shirt, uh, let's say a shirt, let's use the black color here, so shirt, um, looks like this, that's my artistic talents here and we say that its price is a hundred dollars right and now if we get a discount that says it's 65 percent of its original price well its final price would be what it's 65 percent of 100 dollars and that is um 65 right because it's 65 per 100 so that's 65 dollars so now the question is what is the discount applied is it 10 percent off is it 20 percent off is it 30 percent off well let's we'll do that in step two and then once we have the percentage then we need to compare it with different fractions so what we have here is 65% of its original price. So then that means that it's 35% less than its original price, right? So the discount is 35%. Discount equals 100% minus 65%, which is 35%. So now which of these fractions is equal to 35 percent so let's go through them one by one so we have a b c d and a says that it's six over ten uh sorry over ten and then you saw where i was going there i'm gonna make it over 100 but you can also just divide it right so if you divide it or i'll, I'll do over 10 so that would be times 10 times 10, I'm allowed to do this because it's a multiplication by one, right? I'm allowed to multiply by one in math and that's 60 over 100. And that's also 0 0.6 if you divide it, or that's 60%. So we know it is not A. So we can put a little cross here. If we keep going for B, we have seven over 13. Note that 13 doesn't fit in 100 evenly. So that's what I mean by we can just divide it here. So we could do long division, but for this question, we have access to a calculator. So seven by 13, seven over 14 is exactly 0 0.5. So we know it's gonna be a little bit more than 0 0.5. Yeah, and indeed it is 0.5385. Again, that's not 35%. So we know it's not this one, we know it's not B. And we keep going, we have seven over 20. That's, that easily fits in 100, it's times five over five. So then that's 35 over 100. And that's also 0 0.35 or 35%. I'll just write 35%. And I'll show you that seven divided by 20 is 0 0.35 which is 35 percent so that's our discount so we know it is this one and as always it's always good to check the, the other multiple choice in case we made a mistake often we'll find that there's two right answers and then you realize that you messed up a computation for one of them so 3 over 10 that's 30 over 100 or that's 0 0.3 or that's 30 percent so we also know that it's not this one 
and therefore it is C, and that's it. But the third step to solving any problem is once we found the answer, we should try to build some intuition. So there's two ways to get the same answer. So again, let's uh, consider a hundred dollar shirt, or let's let's use a funkier number, okay? And a hundred dollar shirt that's pretty expensive. So how about a seventeen point uh, Twenty-seven dollar shirt and a thirty percent, a thirteen percent tax. Okay. So, oh, sorry, thirteen percent tax and a thirty-five percent discount. So, once we have this, the 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 question is final price. The thing that you're going to be charged on your credit card. Well, there's two ways. You could do uh, the the initial amount times um, times 35 percent, so 0 0.35. That, or I'll do it in a in my calculator. How about that? Because so you could do that the discount is equal to 17.27 times 0 0.35 and then that's six dollars so that's the discount so then you do uh, initial initial price minus discount so then that would be 17.27 minus the discount of this amount. So let's call it uh, zero, it would be 0 0.4, uh, 6.04. But uh, yeah, so let's do it 6.04. And then that's 11. So that's after the discount. And then we add tax, right? Add tax. So then that would be 11.23 times the tax. So we could do times 0 0.13 or we could do times 1.13 to get the uh, final amount right away. And it makes sense. It's a little bit more than 11. So let's call it 12.69. So let's do it using another method now. So instead, we can calculate the discount using the 65% instead of subtracting we can do right away so it's 17.27 times 0 0.65 and that should give us 11.23 and it does and then we add the tax right so if you want you could do it all in one shot because it's all multiplication and it doesn't matter but I'll do it in two steps anyways so it's 11.23 times 1.13 and it gives us the same answer but i'll show you for method one if we did the tax in two different steps okay so i'll write i'll just write tax instead of discount and that would be times 0 0.13 and then that that will just give us the tax and it's a dollar 46 and then we add the tax and then that would be 11.23 plus 1.46 and that gives us all the same answers. So you see how we can work with percentages to find final amounts and that's including a tax. So, and I'm sure there's tax questions on this test and if not, it still builds intuition for how to work with percentages and different ways. Which one is better? There's not really one, but method two is definitely faster and it shows that you understand what's going on a little bit more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video of Do the Work.